nice to meet you to this new episode of Wickbit. In this season I show you the 59 antennas project and what's happened with all this stuff on the table here. Uh, here we have the antenna itself with the electronic that we built up in the five um, videos before. Also the complete mechanic part and the coil up here and can see it here is the antenna too it's too long for fit in the picture because i have a second video running maybe we can do this there also the swr meter and motor controller I'd like to show you how this will be fit on the connectors what we need is a transceiver a heavier one um, i don't make an advert for it but here we must uh, connect the connector and then we show we making two videos mm, we are connecting this this is the transceiver to tx here is tx this is the transceiver and it's a pl213 connector here fix it only hand tight mm. then also we need to connect the antenna here and it's also easy we need a cable and remove this plastic thing and we need a cable where well, we have a cable here we are we have here a cable should be connect here and the other side to the antenna now I must make a breaker shot to get this cable now I connect this here you see here the cable to connect this here okay good good to go and now we connecting the power supply this is here um, it must be 13.8 volts here to the DC jack plus is in the middle is written here and now we turn the power on show you this must hold it here turn the power on and 59 antennas is on it and now we hope so the motor is moving aha uh -huh. in the wrong direction <laughs> it's moving in the wrong direction that means we must interchange the cables from the motor because this button is up oh it's up it's working look look at this it's up it's correct we do that correct and this is down wow that's great man now I show you this on the 7.7 mega, 7.1 megahertz. We send now with no counterpart. That means this grounding is not good. So we have a high SVR. Look at this. Now we have more than a four SVR. I hold now the 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 ground breaking and it sinks. It sinks because we have no counterpart here. The antenna is only for outside use. Look. It comes up. <laughs> the motor is shaking. Or back. If it's stand, it works better. And yes, we have no grounding for it. I'm filming now with two cameras. I say uh, we transmit now a little bit, but it's in the red. In the red area I hold now the bracket and it goes down a little bit or high <laughs> we must go up with the antenna that we change the SVR but it's higher 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 and higher now it's lower we ho we don't have a we don't have a counterpart this is our problem we need a grounding this is our issue I stopped the transmission because we must go out with this antenna and yes we check it outside 
but I, I cannot go outside. It's, it's a little problem here. Yes, this was a 5.9 antenna studio self kit, a motorized antenna. It is working, but inside the room with a short wave on 7.1 megahertz, it's ah ugly. <laughs> we have a SWR about three and more, four, <laughs> sometimes five. Yeah, you need a counterpart uh, or grounding on the ground with a uh, with a row or um, some counter whites like this um, metal brass thing or other in many directions you have these three directions I see that uh, on other motorized antennas and so you have a much better uh, you have a much better uh, SWR yeah this is the point and uh, what shall I say 13.8 volts must be if not then you can do that with a power switching supply uh, there is a SVC08 you can buy it at AliExpress it costs like a 12 dollars or 14 US dollars it depends on the uh, it depends on the um, on the dealer what you click yeah and what I say is thank you for watching